Hi everyone, welcome to my GCSE video on simultaneous equations. Now it says GCSE, but this is also an essential A-level skill if you're thinking of doing core one or even core two. Okay, so I have written out five key steps to solve these linear simultaneous equations when they're in the form of letters, um, a group of letters, say X's, and then y's uh, or any other letter and then equals certain numbers okay these are linear equations in a certain form if they weren't in this form you could rearrange them yourself to get it in nice columns of your x's your y's then your numbers okay and now this method is called the elimination method okay and it means that first of all we're going to eliminate one of the letters to find the other one. So these five steps that I've already written out do the job for you of finding what both letters equal. And that means that you've got a value of x and a value of x that not only solves the first equation, but also solves the second one. That's why they're called simultaneous. You're finding letters that solve them both at the same time. OK, let's do the steps one at a time. Step one is rectangle. What rectangle means is you look for, in these columns, letters that have the same coefficient. Coefficient is the number in front of the letters. Now, can you see that with the y's, the twos are the same? I know one has got a plus and one has got a minus, but the rectangle step says put a rectangle around the ones that are the same. And because they've got two and two you put a rectangle around you also want your rectangle to cover the signs now we'll talk about it being in the front in a minute where the signs are missing that's a little bit more tricky so we've done our rectangle now step two say stop stop what you're doing okay and this is an anagram for the same sign means take away opposite signs mean plus can you see we've got a plus and a minus? They're opposite signs, so this step tells us to take away. Now, don't start getting confused with the signs that you've seen before, plus and a minus make a minus and stuff like that. This is different, okay? It's not the same thing. This is simply a way to remember what to do, okay? It's not the maths rules you've learned before. So... The signs are opposite, so we're going to plus. So we put a plus sign between our two equations. Okay, that's all it means, step two. Step three, we have to add or take away, depending on what we did here. And in our case, we're doing the plus, so we have to add in columns. So look at the first column with the 3x and the 5x. Add them. 3x add 5x is 8x. Look at inside the rectangle. You've got plus 2x plus minus 2y, sorry. Plus 2y minus 2y. Now, if you've got 2y and you take away 2y, you've got nothing left. So there, disappeared. Okay, that's why it's called the elimination method. There's nothing left there. It's gone. Okay. And then at the end, our numbers add nicely together. 11 and 13 gives us 24. So we've done step three. We've added, in this case, in the columns. Step four says, whatever you get here from step three, we've got 8x equals 24. We have to solve the equation. Okay. Now, hopefully, you know how to solve equations. If you've got 8x equals 24, you're going to divide by 8 on both sides and get that x equals 3. You can put a little square around that because that's one of your answers, and that's step 4 done. The final step, step 5, is to substitute into the easy equation and solve. You can choose what equation. I'm going to pick the top one that doesn't have any takeaways in. I think that's a bit easier. And can you see it says 3x plus 2y equals 11. All we're going to do is we're going to try and solve that. Okay? But step 5 says substitute. 
So what do we substitute? We substitute what we got in our last answer. We found out that x equals 3. Okay? So instead of x, we know that that is 3. Now you don't replace it with 33 because 3x means 3 times x. And 3 times 3 is 9. So we've substituted it. We've done the first part here. Okay, but it's quite a hard step. Step 5, it's probably the hardest one. Now we solve the equation. Okay, so we're on to the solve bit. Running out of space a little bit, you would write more lines than this. But what we're going to do is take away 9 from both sides of the equation. And we're going to be left with 2y equals 2. Okay, and then all you have to do to solve that is divide by 2 and you get y is 1. So you've done it. You've done all the steps and your answers are x equals 3 and y equals 1. If you, want to, if you don't believe me, if you want to check that works, try putting 3 in for x and 1 in for y and you'll get the answer. 3 times 3 is 9 plus 2 times 1 gives you 11. Same for this one. 5 times 3 is 15. Take away 2 times 1 is 2. 13. Okay? So this way works. Now, notice that this was only so easy, if I can call it easy, because we had the two y's. Okay? That were the same. If you don't have the two numbers the same, you can't straight away go to the rectangle. So I've left a little gap here for an extra step if you need it, called step x. It's going to be step x for multiply. So in example 2, you'll see that we can't do the rectangle. We want to do a rectangle, but we can't do it. If you have y on its own, put yourself a little 1 in front, okay? So you can see if they're the same one. Now, none of the numbers in front of the same letters are the same. 5 and 3 aren't the same. 2 and 1 aren't the same. So you need to do an extra bit of work. Now, there's a shortcut some of you watching might already know, which is to think, well, I've got 1y. If I times that by 2, it's going to give me 2y. You're correct. If you want to, you can times this whole bottom equation by 2 and solve the two equations you get. That is the shortcut. Okay, well done if you know that. Now, because I want to show you steps that work on any equations, I'm not going to worry about the shortcut. I want to show you six steps that work on any linear equations that you can be given. Okay, so I'm not going to take the shortcut, even though we know it works. So, we want to do a rectangle, but we can't. So we need the extra step, which we're going to call step x and it's called step x because we're going to multiply okay we're going to multiply and we're going to multiply this by 5 and this by 3 but to the whole equation okay so you see this cross it's a bit like the 5 being multiplied here the 3 being multiplied here okay Anyway, so we multiply by the opposite, the other one. So the top equation multiplied by 5, the bottom one multiplied by 3. And we get those numbers from these opposites. That's the only extra step you need, step x. Okay? With a bit of practice, you will get used to that one. Now, if we actually do that step and multiply through, we're going to write the equations again underneath. Okay? So the first equation multiplied by 5, and you have to multiply the whole thing by 5, we are going to get 15x, 3x times 5, plus 2y, sorry, 10y, my mistake, 2y times 5 is definitely 10, y equals 8 times 5, 40. And our second equation 5x times 3, 15x. 1y times 3, 3y. 11 times 3, 33. Okay? 
So now we've done step X and we move on to the rectangle step. Okay. Now look, we've now got ones that we can draw a rectangle around. You can only do step one, the rectangle step, once you have got the numbers, the coefficients the same. 15, 15 or whatever numbers they are. Now remember when I said it can be tricky if there's no signs there. Well, if you've got just 7 on its own, that means plus 7. We just don't write it, okay? So what you can do is put little pluses here if it's going to confuse you, okay? And then step 2 says stop. Is it the same sign? If so, you need to take away. Or is it opposite signs? If so, you need to plus. These two signs, the two pluses that are invisible, are the same. So that reminds us to take away the two equations. Okay? So that's the sum we're going to do. And in step three, we actually do this sum. We do it in our columns. Okay? So the first column, 15x take away 15x. It's eliminated. If you do this method right, by the time you get to step three, some of your letters are going to start disappearing. Okay? That's the idea of a method. 10y, take away 3y, gives us 7y. 40, take away 33, gives us 7. Okay? Step 3, done. Step 4, solve the equation. 7 times y equals 7. So divide by 7, y is 1. Step 4, done. Step 5. Substitute into easy equation and solve. So look at the two equations we started with. Which one do you think is easier? They're both quite nice because none of them have got minuses. Let's go for this one. Okay. So the equation is 5x plus y, 1y, equals 11. Now we know what y is. y is 1. So instead of writing just y we can write 1, which it is. And we have now substituted. We just have to solve the resulting equation. So the equation that we've got to solve is 5x, add 1, equals 11. Okay? Take away 1 from both sides. We get 5x equals 10. Divide by 5, x equals 2. So there are two answers. Okay? And you can write them as x is 2 and y is 1. And again, if you don't trust yourself, check back in the original equations. And those letters will work in both of them and make them both work out. We've solved them simultaneously. I'm going to show you another example. Then I've got some examples for you to try. So we look at our simultaneous equations. We've got our five steps in mind. We're thinking, can we draw our rectangle? Can we draw it here? No, because two and three aren't the same. Can we draw it here? No, because five and minus four aren't the same. Okay, so we need to call in step X, our extra step. Step X just gets the equation ready for you to do your business on. Okay, so step X, that means we're going to multiply this one by 3, the opposite, and this one by 2, the opposite. Okay, so just remind yourself, times 3 times 2, and you have to do it to the whole equation. Okay, so multiply now the top equation by 3. 2x times 3 is 6x. 5y times 3, 15y. 16 times 3, 48 Okay, that's that one done. Second equation we're timesing by 2. 3x times 2, 6x. Minus 4y times 2, minus 8y. If you want, just put the minus in the front after. 1 times 2, 2. Good, we've done step x. We can now put our rectangle in. You can see where it's going to go. It's going to go around the ones with the same coefficients, 6 and 6. Now remember, in front of the sixes are invisible pluses. On to step two. That's step one done. Stop. Is it the same sign? If so, take away. 
or is it the opposite sign, if so, plus? These are the same signs. They're both invisible pluses, so we're going to be doing a takeaway. That's step two, then. Step three, we actually do the takeaway. You'll get used to having nothing below your rectangle, because that is how the method works. 6x, takeaway 6x, disappears. Now, in this step, step three, we can get some tricky things happening. We've got to do 15y, takeaway minus 8y. This is where the trick comes in, that two minuses together make a plus. So it's going to be 20 3y. Okay. And then the last one is just a straightforward takeaway. 48 takeaway 2, 46. Step 3 done. Step 4. Solve the equation. 23 times y is 46. Divide by 23 on both sides. Y is 2. We've got our first letter. Step 5. We take our letter. We take our easiest equation, I'm going to go for the top one because it's not got any takeaways, and we substitute in. So our top equation is 2x plus 5y equals 16. We know what y is. y is 2. And we're doing 5 times 2. 5 times 2 is 10. Okay? Now we solve this equation. Take away 10 from both sides. We're going to get 2x equals 6, and divide by 2, you're going to get x equals 3. So that's your two answers. Your two answers, y equals 2, and x equals 3. Right, that's three examples that we've done. Working through the same steps every time. I have now got for you six questions for you to try. Obviously, you can pause the video, have a go, write out the solutions you can. Write it out nice and clearly, showing these different steps as you go along. Okay? Good luck, and uh, hope you enjoy doing those. And thanks for watching. Goodbye, guys.